Please give it up for the very funny Maria Elena Smith. What's up, guys? Give it up for uh, uh, Neil before and for uh, having another comment. You all can make way too much cocaine at a higher learning institution in New Orleans. Uh, I was gonna do this, but speaking of which, uh, Mardi Gras this past week, uh, one of the, it's a big deal in New Orleans, and uh, a lot of people don't know this, but in Cajun French, Mardi Gras actually translates to public urination. Um, but it's great, it's the people's holiday, really. You know, it's where uh, everybody from the downtown bum to the uptown sorority girl can come together along the parade route to urinate in a rich person's driveway. <laughs> Fuck you guys, I would've killed in New Orleans. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, <laughs> my name is Maria Elena Smith, and it's like uh, a big name, you know? But a lot of people tell me it sounds like my last name colonized my first name. Uh, but I always say, if you're gonna make a joke about colonization, you just gotta make sure it lands. <laughs> uh, I'm actually half Irish and half Italian, uh, which was a pretty cool way to grow up, you know? On uh, the Irish side, they taught me how to, you know, tell someone to go to hell and have them look forward to the trip. You know, the, the boring shit. Uh, on the Italian side, we just cut to the chase. You just learn how to send someone to hell, or just call my Uncle Frank. <laughs> that guy's a uh, I got to go visit my parents recently. Give it up if you have parents. Yeah, me too, me too. Um, it was really nice, except for I was sitting across the table for my dad. And he would just give me this look that I recognized, and it was like, uh, kind of like the look he uh, had on his face, looking at his 2009 stock portfolio, like, uh, Jesus Christ, if I knew it was gonna take this turn, I would've pulled out sooner. <laughs> um, I'm originally from the East Coast. Uh, any East Coasters in here? Yeah, yeah, from San Diego. <laughs> This lady's from San Diego, give it up for her. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was a big transition moving here. Um, so I love whenever I get to go back because I know what I am, guys, you know? I'm like a San Diego one. I love the Pacific Beach, okay? I'm a San Diego one and I go home. I'm from Delaware and Delaware, like I'm a straight up seven. I go up to Philly, like pulling straight nines, guys. <laughs> Honestly, I know I could get the perfect 10, uh, but it's just not fucking worth going to Cleveland. <laughs> um, uh, what else is going on? I uh, recently went through a breakup. I don't really know what happened there, guys. I just, I, I, I guess I found out that some men just can't handle emotional terrorism. <laughs> yeah, um, I also learned the term love bombing recently. Does that, you know what this is? So apparently love bombing is when uh, someone that you're like eh about showers you with like love and attention and affection until you reciprocate the feelings and then they abandon you. Which seems bad, but I'm sorry, love bombing? I was hoping it was something more like, you know, fun. <laughs> like what I do, you know? Like I just like take someone that kind of annoys me and I just completely destroy them and then help them rebuild in my image. And then we call it the Hiroshima love bomb. <laughs> Hey, it's better than the version where halfway through the rebuild, I realize he's not worth it, and pull out. Then we've reached Afghanistan territory. <laughs> Guys, I don't hate men. I just find the military industrial complex really inspirational. <laughs> All of my best dating advice comes from there. <laughs> I mean, even if you want to talk about love bombing in a figurative sense, I still think it should be something like, you know, every now and then you just hit him with something that's going to destroy him, like a... Like, you know they make a really great hair loss shampoo now, right? <laughs> so your sister's obviously the favorite, right? <laughs> you know, your friends are all harder than you. How did that happen? Hmm. Guys, I'm great. People like me. <laughs> all right, well, uh, you know, everyone always feels bad for him, but don't. Like, the emotional terrorism went both ways. Uh, this man made me watch ESPN3, which is something that exists. One day he made me watch a professional cornhole for men. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, like the beanbag game. <laughs> it was legit, okay, they had sponsors and everything. It was like, uh, this tournament of frat boys is brought to you by White Claw. Mango flavored vape pens. <laughs> 
boot shoes, and of course, none of our athletes would be here today without the help of Preston and Sons Law Firm, specializing in college sexual assault cases. Sports are really funny, guys. Love sports. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I've been back out dating, and, and the one thing that keeps driving me crazy is like, I, all right, I'm an astrology girl. I like it. I believe in it. No, I'm losing this heart. She's just like, nah. Yeah, yeah. But guys are always giving me a hard time for it. Like, I can't believe in it or whatever. I'm like, I'm like, all right, Steve, you're in a fantasy baseball league. But I'm like, oh, yeah. Sure, yeah. You know, and I get it. But we all just need something to get us through our days. And we really need things that, like, are good excuses for not doing things we don't want to do, right? So for dudes, it's like, uh, oh, bro, can you help me move? And it's like, nah, sorry, I got my uh, fantasy draft that day. For me, it's a little more complicated. It's like, you know, oh my God, Christy, there's nothing I would love more than to go to your fourth child's gender reveal party, but I just checked my horoscope and it looks like Mercury's gonna be in retrograde and as a rising fire sign, I wouldn't wanna go and spark some sort of natural disaster and take away from you and your little fetus, but I'm sending all the good vibes and hoping you pop that thing out before Scorpio season, because honey, you can handle one of those. And now I don't get invited anywhere. That's <laughs> great. Uh, I've been trying to focus on a my health, or at least I wanted to focus on health, but health is kind of complicated, so uh, wellness is what I'm focusing on, because you can just buy it online. Uh, I used to have to go to like the dentist and shit, and now I just buy like $40 worth of gemstones off the internet. And I actually, I hit a two for one sale, so they keep away cavities and bad vibes. Yeah, and uh, honestly, ever since Goop started accepting EBT cards, like there's no need for me to go to the guy now, okay? I've got Gwyneth. Um, and uh, to deal with depression, okay, you don't want to leave that untreated. Very easy, you just go down to your neighborhood Bed Bath & Beyond and go to the sad girl aisle, okay? And you want to get a weighted blanket, a salt lamp, and some sage to burn. And it really, really actually works, okay? I'm sleeping all through the night. And most of the day. <laughs> but it's hard to be sad when you're asleep, you know? <laughs> Anyways, I'm obviously healed on the inside now. So I'm trying to focus on the outside and I started a diet. But I did my research first, I looked at all the shit you gotta look at, you know, I looked at like keto, like fuck that, no, I looked at Whole30, you know, and then I looked at my bank account and I realized, you know, intermittent fasting was like uh, really the one for me, guys. <laughs> one meal a day, guys, it was right on budget. <laughs> We're having fun. I'm winning you. <laughs> We're new friends. Um, uh, I, um, like I said, I grew up on the East Coast, I grew up Irish and uh, Italian, so very Catholic, right? And uh, we just had Ash Wednesday this past Wednesday, and it's one of my high hangover holidays for Mardi Gras, obviously. Um, and I went, and you get the ashes on your forehead, and it's kind of interesting, because in the Catholic Church, they used to get the ashes from burning the palm fronds from like the Palm Sunday before. But they've actually uh, started doing something a little bit different now in the Catholic Church. Um, now they get the ashes from just burning the evidence. <laughs> that joke on Wednesday while well, I had ashes on my forehead. So yeah. Life's all about balance. Uh, um, uh, we got baseball coming back pretty soon. That's fun. Yeah, we got some Padres fans in the house. Oh, nobody. Yeah. You guys really are from San Diego. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, the mascot was always kind of interesting to me, the swinging fryer. <laughs> Didn't make a lot of sense, but uh, I guess when you think about it, if there's anything you've learned about the Catholic Church over the past 20 years, it's that uh, those men of the cloth, they do love to swing and they'll do anything to get to third base. Uh, <laughs> Let's throw a, a lighter subject. Um, I um, I was uh, in a club, you know, one of those oops, 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 clubs that I was way too old to be in, <laughs> with a couple friends and um, I'm a progressive person, I, and I always thought I knew how I, I would react if a girlfriend of mine, you know, unfortunately got like sexually assaulted, right? Um, I wasn't sure how I might react, but I did learn how I might react if, uh, if that happened to one of my guy friends at this club. And I wanted to be sympathetic, I wanted to be empathetic, but I found myself saying things to this 34-year-old straight white man, like, uh, well, Brendan, what kind of eyes are you putting out? You did choose to wear the slim cut jeans. I'm like, fuck you, stop bragging, at least somebody wants you. Mm. <laughs> That's a 
that one. All right, I'm gonna leave you guys with this one. I think you'll like it. Uh, I wasn't feeling great a couple weeks ago, and so I found myself at urgent care in PB. And uh, like I said, I am recently single, and I was looking around the waiting room, a bunch of hot people there, and I was just like, you know what? Maybe this is an opportunity. So I walked up to a guy, and I said, hey, what are you in for? The sniffles or the clap? And he said, um, the sniffles. And I said, oh, fuck, I don't want to get that. All right, you guys have been fun. My name is Marilyn. Have a great night.